Coming up next, from San Fran Freak Show, the Savage Nation. From Talk 910 KNEW. The Wall Street Journal this morning, weekdays 5 to 6 a.m. on Talk 910 KNEW. Warning. The Michael Savage Show contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Here is Michael Savage. say to you I'm having a good day it's not a blue Monday for me I feel uh, energized I feel alive and the reason is is that I'm ready to announce for you that the fight against the British government's taking a new turn I have the secret emails which disclose how the British government itself the Prime Minister and the Foreign Minister colluded to destroy one man's name and reputation now maybe you've read Billy Budd and you think it's just fiction. Well, let me tell you something. They'd like to hang me from the yard on. Only we don't live in the 17th century. In this century, they hang you electronically. And that is what was done to this man. I'm fighting back. I've written a book, Banned in Britain. It is up on michaelsavage.com. First printing, first edition. We're getting it ready for the printer. I highly recommend that if you bought any of my other books, you're going to want to buy the most important book that I've ever written. You can at least see the cover, you can see the table of contents, you can see the uh, an excerpt from the first chapter, and you can order the book on michaelsavage.com. Buy it for your friends, buy it for yourself, buy it for your parents. A new poll just came out from the Gallup poll, not known to be a, a particularly liberal poll. It says that conservatives now outnumber liberals in all 50 states. Now that's the Gallup poll, it's not the Savage poll. Did you hear what I just said? Conservatives now outnumber liberals in all 50 states, says the Gallup poll. And yet, if you turn on the television channels, with the exception of one, you would think that the entire country consists of stoned hippies who hate America, who all want to live in Europe, and could not wait to put a college professor from the left into power. Even in Hawaii, Obama's home state, even in Hawaii, you hear this? Conservatives outnumber liberals by statistically significant margins in 47 of the 50 states, with conservatives and liberals statistically tied in Hawaii, Vermont, and Massachusetts. It's hard to believe. In Massachusetts, according to Gallup, 30% say they are conservative. 29% say they're liberal. In Vermont, 29% say they're conservative. 28% say they're liberal. Yet if you go to Vermont... You go to Massachusetts, you go to Hawaii, you go to California, all you hear is liberal tripe all day long. Tripe, garbage, lies. Because the media is 100%, 110%, 1,000% Bolshevik. In Hawaii even, you think it's a liberal state? 29% of Hawaiians polled say they are conservative, 24% say they're liberal. Can you believe this? There is only one state, it's a non-state really, which falls within the margin of error, in which liberals outnumber conservatives, and that's, of course, Washington, D.C., where 37% of the leeches say they were liberal. That's because those leeches work for the government. 35% said they were moderate. 23% said they were conservative. Even in New York and New Jersey, let's talk to my audience in WOR land. New York and New Jersey, you think because you have Schumer as a senator that you are a liberal state? No, you had hijacked 
by the liberal left. You've been hijacked by the illegal alien vote, which is why Schumer wouldn't have a town hall meeting, because that liar and that crook, that liar and that crook wouldn't meet his own constituents, because he knows that you would have given him a Bronx cheer. He was put in power by illegal aliens, people who voted 25 different ways to Sunday. That's why he wouldn't meet you at a town hall meeting. But even in New York and New Jersey, conservatives outnumber liberals by six points, according to the Gallup poll. In those states, New Jersey and New York, 32% say they're conservative. 26% say they're liberal. In Connecticut, even, conservatives outnumber liberals by seven points. How is it possible that, according to the Gallup poll, conservatives now outnumber liberals in 50 states, and yet we have a far-left president who's off the charts on the left, by the way. You're not talking about a liberal president. This is not a liberal president. This is a radical president. You have a radical president, a radical Congress. You have a radical Congress, a radical president. So where are the people's voices being heard? Right here on the Savage Nation. Talk radio is the last vestige, along with the Internet, where conservative opinions are still freely circulated. And yet, they're targeting us for extinction. Read the secret emails from the British government, which we found through Discovery, which disclose how the entire government of Britain, all the way up to the Prime Minister now, forget Jackie Smith, they sent this to the Prime Minister, according to the emails we have, and the uh, Foreign Secretary, who said, yes, go ahead, we want this man on the list. This is an entire government colluding to destroy me, a one man's, a man's name and reputation. Now, I'm not appealing to the progressives listening to the show, because I know what progressive is a code word for. It's a code word for a socialist, communist, anarchist. That's what the word progressive really means. I'm appealing to the liberals. I know my conservative base will buy this book. I am appealing to the liberals who grew up on Voltaire, who wrote, I may disagree with your you, but I would fight to the death you're right to say it. That's a liberal. I grew up with teachers like that. Where are they? Many of you listen to the show. I have some friends that I've gotten to know some new friends who uh, went out on my little boat yesterday, and we talked, went out to dinner Saturday night, and they told me they have liberal friends as far away as Chicago, New York, and their liberals, liberal friends tell them that they're addicted to the savage nation. And I said, I know that. And he said, do you have any idea why, even though your politics are different? I said, well, you tell me why. Why are they addicted? Why do liberals, real liberals, listen to this show? Why do moderates listen to this show? If I was such an extremist as the radical left would like you to believe, I wouldn't have an audience of the size I do. It's because we have to go back to Hemingway to get the answer. Hemingway said that the truth has a certain ring to it. This show apparently rings a certain bell. John Burroughs, 19th century naturalist, one of my early inspirations, wrote, If you bait your hook with your heart, the fish will always bite. Well, I don't call you fish, but I think you understand what I'm talking about. You understand this? Out of the Nazi era and the Soviet era, Michael Savage was found guilty without trial. I have only one, one way to fight back, and that's you. I need you. I point blank need you. I need you to buy the book, Ban in Britain, for a liberal friend, for a parent, a grandparent, a child. Uh, if you want a child to understand what freedom of speech is, you better buy the book. Now, it's not ready yet. It's going to the printer soon. I need to know if you want to get a copy of the first edition first printing. Yes, I'm hitting it hard. Yes, I'm promoting the book. Yes, I'm self-promoting. Who will? If I am not for myself, who will be? I am banned not only in Britain, my friends, but I'm going to tell you something that should make every liberal listening to this show cry. I am banned in, on Publishers Row. The wonderful defenders of freedom of speech in New York City in the publishing world will not touch Michael Savage's books. They are part of the collusion to destroy this man. But you see, they're living in the past. The publishers are like the silent movies of the 1920s. It's the Internet, my friends. It's Twitter. It's Facebook. The publishers don't want Michael Savage because they want to toe the line for the people who control them, the money men or whoever, because I expose the money men as the crooks they are. If you think this is all about liberal and conservative, you're mistaken. It's all about thievery and corruption. Why do you think I was targeted? You think it's for the things I said about uh, this group or that group? Bull. It's because I am the enemy, public enemy number one. I'm sorry to tell you, 
for the attempt to take over the entire Western world by a small cabal of elite bankers who want to destroy you. They've done a pretty good job. Your dollar is worthless. They've destroyed your dollar. They've destroyed your honor. What's left? Your freedom itself. If you think the gangsters on Wall Street are finished with you, you are mistaken. You see, the gangsters on Wall Street control the mutual fund funds. And the mutual funds control the publishers. They control radio. They control an awful lot of things. They want me shut down and shut up. They want me out of business. That's why my book is self-published. Hey, remember, I'm a man who's published with New York publishers for 20 books. I don't know how many. Going back to 1972. Why all of a sudden won't they touch me? It's not because what I write is so dangerous. It's because I am on a blacklist. The wonderful defenders of the freedom of speech, the great First Amendment phony liberals of Manhattan, who laud themselves going to this meeting and that meeting about freedom of speech for people in Myanmar and Syria and Iran, they don't want to touch Michael Savage. They don't even want my books in the book.